Good evening, one and all. BioBee Acid here bringing you yet another live stream, of course, brought to you by GameStar. And we are going to see for the final match of CGI in the rounds, Malice taking on second nature here this evening. He's going to be on Villa, of course. The map for the ninth round is Nuketown. Now, I'm not quite sure if Malice can even come back and get into the top four at the moment. If they, I think if they get like 16 rounds and the other team just gets hardly any, they might be able to squeeze back in there. Not 100% sure. Of course, have to wait and find out. I'm sure there's someone that does accounting would be able to work it out for you on the forums. But uh, we will wait. We will get into that a little bit later on this evening. Of course, joining me this evening as well is going to be my co-caster. And I haven't really given him a nickname yet, so I, I've come up with this one. Probably not the best one, but it's all I can really do. It is, of course, Delightful Dazed. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I like that. That should probably stick. Although some people might uh, argue that it's not exactly 100% true. Anyway, um, yep, yeah, glad to be here. Looking forward to another match. And uh, yeah, should be good. Just before we do get into it, Dace, I did just want to quickly touch base on your match this week was against one of the teams that many people didn't think would actually defeat you, but clearly they did. What were your what was mind freaks actually a mindset going into that match? And the, I did read the interview, of course. Rapture missing out of that match, and one of your members did say never play without Rapture again. Do you think Rapture would have made a, a, enough difference to get, gain the victory, or is it maybe, maybe not? Don't know. Um, I don't. I think I personally, I think perhaps there were, it would have been a different a different result, mainly because uh, Rapture is a bit is a bit of a pain. He's very uh. Uh, random sort of thing. He doesn't sit still much, and he's always keeping the team, the other team guessing. So I think that could have uh, helped a lot uh, in this particular game. But yeah, our mindset going in it was definitely to win. Um, unfortunately, I guess whether it was a subconscious knowing that you know no matter what the result, we'd still made finals or not, uh, we weren't able to come away with the win. But uh, and which was disappointing because um, I know I definitely wanted to try and get uh, get the win against Defiance, you know, coming up against Stunzi, who um, was in the team before, just, you know, not, not any bad blood or anything, but, you know, just you always want to sort of pull the win against your ex-team members sort of thing. So, yeah, it was just it was a disappointing result in the evening, um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to learn from that and then take it into the finals and hopefully come away with the uh, CGI victory. Of course, still in top place there, so you guys are going in very strong, and it will be interesting to see coming to finals, guys, that will be kicking off later on. As we get into the knife round, guys, well, just in the background, it will go off. I was asked to call Rampage Forehead. Now, I do not get the inside joke. I have no idea why, but if I remember to do it, I will call him that. We will go, of course, for the lineups here quickly. For the Mouse team, you've got Bryce Man, Fake 2G, Insanity 2G, Goose Juice, and of course Renzi, the young lad. Then for the second nature, Zer Geek Wave Rampage, aka Forehead. Kamzar wins, No Mercy NZ, aka Bill, and Courageous Spider. Now, I don't know what's really going to happen. Um, sorry, Courteous Spider, as we get into it now, with uh, Spider getting that first little knife. Renzi then cleaning that one as well of Mercy, and Rampage and taking it Renzi a second afterwards. Poor old Bill, once again. Oh, Bill got a kill. No, sorry. Cancel that. He was 0-6 in knife rounds. He got one just there. So he did get a kill, and I believe he may have won something in regards to getting that kill. Plus, they took out the knife round as well. So props to the uh, two-end two guys who, of course, get to choose attack or defense heading into the map of Villa as Rampage will get that final kill there. Nice little knife. There's a lot of these knives you don't really think do connect, but somehow they do. I saw a knife the other day. Someone was standing behind the player. He knifed in front of him and got the kill. I don't know how that works, but that's Black Ops for you. As uh, we, t we wait to find out who will be attacking, who will be defending first. It's going to be a great match, guys. We're already sitting on 85 viewers, and the match really hasn't even started. So if you want, feel free to uh, send a little uh, little love and everyone else's way and put it on your Facebook, put it on your Twitter, put it anywhere you want. If you want it to put it somewhere dirty, then feel free, but uh, just don't let us know. Quick shout out to the Frequency Boys as well, who are sponsored by Fujitsu Air Conditioning. Now, I don't even know if they're really sponsored by Fujitsu Air Conditioning. They've, they've been sponsored by them for apparently for a few years now. But uh, honestly, Malice vs. 2 end days, who are you tipping tonight? But who, uh, you t Obviously, you might tip a team to win, but who do you honestly think will win? Um, okay, well, this, I think, is probably one of the most hardest to pick um, on either, whether uh, who I want and who I also um, who I also think will win. First of all, um, I want, to, I kind of want to end to win because I've got a soft spot for C5. They're all good sports and and sort of you know a good bunch of blokes. Never had any issues with them and and they sort of you know they've they've had some hard times throughout the season and it'd be nice to to see them in the finals to to have a you know last ditch effort and place as high as they can because they do have the ability. At the same time though, um, Malice, I do also want to see them in the finals because it's been a bit of a 
um, a bit of a, a sort of every 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 season of CGI and whatnot. Malice has always been there, and it's always been us again up against them. You know, um, when I was in Insurgency, or which and now obviously we're still Insurgency, but Mind Freak and different name. So it'd be nice to see them in the finals though as well. Who I think will win? Um, again, hard because Malice have been had a very very shaky CGI and are not a great prep for this match. Um, and but at the same time, 2N have also had a bit of a shaky CGI and not sure how well prepped they are. So I'm going to go ahead and pick 2N, and I'm also going to say that I want 2N to win. But yeah, it's so it's going to be so close, and, and really it was hard to make that decision. But anyway, we're in the action now. So bye. If you want to take over, and I will indeed. As Rumble with Rampage, 2N on the attack, deciding to get their attack out of the road straight up here, guys. This is of course the first round heading in. To the best out of the first two eight each half. The rule set is in the description below of this of this uh, stream. So if you do need to check that, you can check it there. Uh, as we just all waited out now. I don't know if uh, just a quick mention, Days. I believe your Xbox mic was still plugged in. And they could hear you the whole time you were talking before. So you might want to unplug that. It's up to you. You can leave it plugged in. But uh, we're still here. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I saw you. I saw your mic flashing on and off in the in the uh, lobby. And I was just like, maybe you should just unplug it, perhaps. As so, uh, Story of Rampage. Rampage not really doing much at the moment for C uh, for uh, two N. Sorry, as he decides to sit back here at Triangle, who's checking out the top bar. Must be on flank watch. Probably just making sure that no one from the team of uh, Melissa going to push in. They may have gone A already. As we are still sitting around about a minute thirty left on the Oz Gamers clock. I spoke to my big old boss the, today, actually EJ. I'm going to do a chat to him, and uh, he said we probably should call it the Oz Gamers clock. I did agree. I just wanted to mix it up a little bit, saying the Steel Series one, but the Oz Gamers clock it will remain now. As with his M16 out, checking out top villain. They just came, went up in there. As the smokes are coming out now as well, we're going on towards that A bomb. He just tagged his own team up for smoke, realizing that it was him. I hope he didn't actually call out one player on A when no one was there. Now, this M16 shot's going off at the back corners here. Looks like someone is trying to throw a nade up top right-hand side of Villa as well, trying to land it outside. But uh, in, my, in my experience, those nades always fail and come back at you to bite you. Rampage still sitting back. M16, Python up in the air. I think he's... This is actually a smart play. He's trying to confuse the team of Melissa and make, make it so they can't really hear the bomb, I believe. Well, he was just, that's all he was doing. He's just shooting quietly and timelessly up into the air. No mercy with a double on the Melis guys, taking him out. And it's really going to help the two end, the two end guys grabbing this first round, perhaps. As insanity just takes out the Geek Wave man with that AK as Rampage does a shot from the top. Villa man, there is a player up there. Taze as he pushed up to the right. But Rampage still keeping that eye on the flank. Bryce Ben then takes out the spider with his AK of his own. Jumping down, Bryce Ben for now for double on Mercy. Insanity on the flank, taking it Rampage. It's all up to Kamza. Bomb is down, 15 seconds remaining on it. As there's two there in front of him, he didn't know who to shoot at. Just back out again, gets cleaned up by Insanity. And Melis will take that first round there. As the three players still remaining. 1-0 on the Oz Gamers scoreboard in Melis's favour. But honestly, I, I didn't... I, I did not expect that little play there before by Rampage when he shot up in the air while they were playing the bomb. That I've never seen that before, and it was a smart, it was a smart idea in my opinion. Yeah, no, good idea. Um, I know that a few teams use that to their advantage to master sound of the plant. Um, anyway, so I'm going to jump on board with Courteous Spider now, uh, also known as Guesty, I believe. He's got an AK-47 in hand and uh, looks to be pushing the front of the uh, bomb, A bomb site and sort of just watching in that bottom uh, bottom mansion as the rest of his teammates start pushing through. And uh, he hasn't seen anything yet, but he's, he's poised on that right-hand corner because most of the time when people run into bottom villa, they, or bottom mansion, sorry, they will in fact go to that right-hand corner. There's no mercy. He gets a uh, fake with an MP5 there, New Zealander onto New Zealander. As you can see, the geek waves over in that little corner. I like to, I like to call it budgies. Geek Wave runs in, gets Bryce Man in bottom of Villa there. Again, it's a double on Goose Juice as well. So it's now a uh, 5v2 situation. Renzi and Sanity left to clutch for Malice. Will they be able to do it? I don't think so, but anything can happen on Villa, as we saw last night against, uh, uh, sorry, Closest 5 versus uh, Taunted. There was a lot of rounds that the, the the team had the numbers, and then the team that was on the back foot ended up coming away with the clutch. So let's see if that's a repeat tonight, as Rampage picks up an aid kill there, then also a final kill. Not sure who got it, but we'll find out now. One all on the Oz Gamers scoreboard, and 2N having a quite a commanding... Uh, 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 round there. There you go, you see Geekwave now getting the last kill on uh, Renzi. So yeah, that's uh, one on the Oscar scoreboard and back to you, Bio. Yeah, it was good stuff. We've yet to drop a play in that round there, the two end guys really uh, changing their form up, getting over that A bomb nice and quick and uh, taking it down. As we get on board with Kamza, Kamza seemed to be the bomb whore for this evening in the two ends team. And once again, looking to push that A bomb site. Nades are going out early. Mercy, Spider, and Kamza all rushing out. There was a play that went top their spawn buildings to watch Flank most likely. Perhaps was Rampage. Oh, Nate just missing pretty much all three players of the two end guys. They ducked to the right, ducked to the left, and got out of those roses. Those Nate's they came in. Spider, they're picking up the first kill in this round on Bryce Man with his 47. One player at the right hand side there. 
Smoke is going to go. No, Nate at the back of A here. We'll get a kill. No, it won't. Cams are just in the A bomb with that bomb in hand. Thinking about going for the plant. There's obviously going to be a player most likely either inside. Bottom Villa or up top as Mercy then finds Fake at the back there with an MP5. Renzi returns five for the 47 to take you out. The Mercy man then a double up on Geekwave as well. So Renzi answering back for double of his own after Geekwave's little double the last round before. Cams now bombed down at Palms. A little FPS lag there from Cams though. Decides to lay down. Nate comes in from Renzi taking him down. Rampage cleans up Goose Juice. So we've got Spider and Rampage up against Renzi and Insanity as Rampage is cleaned up. 1v2 now. We'll make it a 0v2. Renzi gets the double. Four players down that round for Renzi. Great stuff and a bomb defuse for his team. 2-1 on the Oscar scoreboard. Now this is favour. Renzi going large. Yeah, as usual, we see Renzi pulling those big uh, kills there, and he's really been the life of Malice throughout this uh, competition. I, I firmly believe without him, they, they probably wouldn't even in, be in a position to go into finals. I should also point out that I did some calculations last night, and as long as Malice win, they will make it into the finals, and they will knock out C5. So any any win, any score margin will give uh, Malice a final spot as Bryce Man gets a nade kill there, or a car explosion kill there on Courteous Spider. I'm going to jump on board with uh, Bryce Man now, just to see what he's doing. As uh, now a 4v5 situation, obviously. Bryce Man, oh, sorry, as I said, No Mercy picks up Fake, then Fake picks up No Mercy. So again, New Zealander onto New Zealander. And uh, Goose Juice then gets a headshot on Kamza. So welcome to the game, Goose Juice. He's picked up his first kill of the game. Um, oh, as I say, that Bryce Man jumps out, gets picked up by Geekwave with an MP5, then Rampage gets a headshot on Renzi. So uh, we've got a 2v2 situation now. Uh, Insanity and, uh, let's see, Insanity and, oh, by himself, sorry, as Geekwave takes out Goose Juice and then gets taken out himself there by, I think it was Geekwave, we'll find out now. But Geekwave having a very good game along with No Mercy. And the score will now be, again, 2 all on the Oz Gamer scoreboard, neck and neck. As, uh, yeah, you see Geekwave here picking up that kill on Insanity. And I'll take a quick moment, shout out to Naked and Ziggy. They, uh, Shout out to there you go, boys. And uh, back to you, Byron. Another close match, it seems, what we're going to see here this evening. is only a couple of rounds in, of course, as Ron Ball with no mercy now. He did have the M16. Seems to be a B push this time. Two M thinking they've uh, worn out their welcome over at the A side of things. Has been pretty uh, pretty much matched up in regards to the rounds each time they went there. With Geekway then finding Insanity that time for Nade. Most likely uh, down near B side. As Renzi then finds Spider with a headshot returning. He'll uh, one kill apiece. Now Renzi inside of, inside of middle. And he gets cleaner from behind. I know Mercy with that M16, M16 in the back. Second and third verse of course connecting. Missing that first one. Nade in by fake. Mercy. Bad play there. Staying in the same spot. Costing him his life. Bryce then takes out Geekwave. Bomb has gone down as Bryce Man cleans up Kamza as well. And we're going to have Fate now. Just here a connection. Nate goes out. They know he's there at Triangle. It is, of course, one player left. It's Rampage in a 1v3. Goose will clean him up. Take him down easily. And the ball will be able to get defused. Giving the, the team of Melos another round. 3-2 now. Once again, Melos answering back for on their own. Keeping it close. Keeping it tidy. And trying to make some things interesting happen. Yeah, no, it seems to be a growing trend on this map. Every time the bomb goes down, it's, the defenders almost always defuse it, as, from what I've seen in the last two games. As I'm going to jump on board with Goose Juice now, who's um, having a little bit of a slow start to the game, but still can't count him out. He's only two kills for four deaths, so he's got M16 in, in hand, and he's up the top of the mansion now, obviously. Uh, might have got a call out that it could be B, uh, so he went back down the stairs, but now he's back up on top of the mansion. Gets up on that little railing, see if he can see the hedges and the rock there. Going to have a bit of a spray, but then as, as he does that, No Mercy throws a nicely timed grenade in there, blows up right on his face. As uh, we see Renzi now dropping back uh, along with Bryce Man into that mansion, so I believe it's going to be um, maybe it is an A, an a push by. Uh, <clears throat> by the team of 2N, yes, it looks like it is. Bit of a slow one, though. Just trying to find the bomb here. As we see, Kamza's has got the bomb there on that uh, left side, the cliff side, as uh, he's throwing a smoke and just sort of waiting it out. I'm not sure what, what their plan is here, but no mercy taking a few shots here. It is a 5v4 situation in, in favour of 2N, and they're just making their way up to that bomb site. Want to get, we're getting ready to go for a plan, get a nice setup. They're probably looking to get at least one more kill before they actually go in for the for the plant, because uh, that would be the smart play. Renzi is um, on that uh, balcony now, paroning down there, so I'm not sure if they know he's there. Geekwave's going for a flank now. He's in the garage, making his way behind them. And Bryce Manor, though, has just dropped oh, back no. to watch that. Fake picks up No Mercy. Uh, Bryce Man watching that flank, and I think any minute now. Oh, who was it? Guessy. Yes, no. No, sorry, not Guessy. It was Geekwave. There you go. Geekwave picks up Bryce Man as Bryce Man tries to watch that flank. So it's a, f a 3v4 situation. Geekwave on the flank. Rampage M16 up at the uh, hedges. 
Kamza with bomb in hand, just sitting basically on the bomb but up against the wall. Fake with an AK-47 in the bottom of the mansion there. And uh, Guesty is sitting out the front of the mansion. Is he going to move in? No, he's not. Renzi, though, picks up Kamza. Courteous Spider then takes out Fake now. Kinsanity takes out Geek Wave, though. This is now a 2v2 sit, 2v... No, 2v1 situation. Renzi takes out Courteous Spider. This... No, looks like... Oh, 2N had the right idea there, but they just didn't execute it 100%, and they were shut down mainly by Renzi and Insanity there, and uh, were not able to get that plant down and win the round. So the score will go to 2-4 on the Oz Gaming scoreboard in favour of Malice, and uh, this looks like it could be a close one, and um, we'll have to wait and see. So back to you, Byron. i got to give a quick shout-out to Visions. Uh, yesterday on Vent, he decided to come in on a guest account and try and, uh, try and forge by name on here. And I decided to just ban him from the main channel, so now he cannot connect. I apologise for that. Oh, he probably will be able to connect if he decides to um, change it up a little bit. But it was it was funny. I was just dragging him around in the background. You could hear his speakers going off. As we're going to be on board now with Fake 2G, AK-47 in hand, as Fake will find Spider a second before I found him. Mo Mercy from behind them with the MP5 cage. Taking down Fake Goose Juice out here, A Balcony. Nading Cook throw, bounces off the corner and gets the kill on Cam's. A beautiful nade there by Goose as he the rampage finds one on Geek Wave. You're going to have Goose get some takes back A now on that staircase as he knows there's a person out there. The bomb clearly getting dropped at A. By the play that was down there. 144 left on the Ozgamers clock in this round. Goose just now keeping his eyes peeled on that staircase. Rampage will find Bryce Man with an M16 shot and taking him down. I believe it is uh, two players left for Malice, two players left for two. And this round, making it now, sorry, as the Rinstanding man gets dropped by Rampage. 1v2 for Goose Juice. Can he clean him up? We'll find out where the boys are. Rampage down here at the A bomb site. Surely Goose can hear that running around down there. He should be able to hear this plan as well. He's got to be careful about poking. And he sees the player take. Kill. 1v1 now for Goose. No mercy upstairs. The Bill Man, MP5K, gets a tag, missing the kill, but Goose, aware where he is, decides just to stay low as No Mercy runs around upstairs still with that MP5K. Now pushing down. One minute left on the Oz Gamers clock in this round. Can No Mercy get this clutch? Or will Goose just take it out with that 2v1 he picked up? No Mercy now coming back down the A stairs, trying to play it smart. Not quite sure where to go. Goose Juice has played it smart, but pushing out further away from the villa area, allowing him to uh, get the advantage here if the No Mercy man does go for a plant. All Goose Juice has to do is just listen for the sound as he see, gets, gets, sees him, gets some tags on him, trying to finish him off here. Behind the car, No Mercy returning five. No Mercy picks... Oh, no, he didn't. I thought No Mercy had that. Goose Juice wants to pull that python out, picking him up and taking it the round. And Malice put into a three-round lead. 5-2 on the Oz Gamers scoreboard. There it is from the Python. A little jump to the left. And just a step to the right. Put your hands on your yeah, hips. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> I thought Mercy had that for sure. As, um, I don't know, they didn't play that. The team at 2N didn't play that too well. Um, Mercy probably should have been putting pressure on, on that balcony whilst the plant was going down. But instead, um, they, he sort of just sat there and they were obviously able to kill them. Anyway, as Geekwave opens the uh, round with a frag grenade on Bryce Man. As, uh, so now it's obviously going to be a 5v4 situation, Malice on the back foot, but only by one, as uh, Fake's getting some tags over now in that uh, backyard, now he's going to bottom mansion, looks like it's going to be another A push from the team of 2N, will they be able to come up with it though, as Mercy's just spraying bullets into that bottom floor, uh, Courteous Spider out the front of that villa, Fake gets a kill on Kamza though, Renzi gets a kill on Courteous Spider, then Geekway follows that up with a kill on Insanity with that MP5, so now we're at a 3v3 situation, and uh, Renzi is already on 10 kills now. And he, uh, sorry, make that 11 as he gets a headshot on Geekwave. Fake then picks up a kill on No Mercy. And, excuse me, as uh, Renzi is shooting that, but Goose Juice will pick up Rampage. A bomb must have been planted, and uh, obviously will now be defused because there's no one left on the team of. Uh, uh, sorry, of the team of 2N, and yep, yeah, so there you go. It's a, as I said, guys, before in some previous casts, you can't hear, or sorry, you can't see the bomb sign in Perspectator, so yeah, it's hard to see when it is uh, planted. Anyway, back to you, Bio. This guy, John Ward, here with Insanity straight off the bat. He is, of course, got that AK-47. He's coming at BY. Nades are coming in. A uh, quick mention as well, Geekway 11-5 and Renzi 11-4. These two players are... Keeping it neck and neck in regards to that. Renzi then taking out Spider with a nice little headshot, pushing him back in the lead of MVP at the moment. With Insanity just sitting back here, waiting for a player to push on in. It's going to be Geekway who comes in and falls bait to it. As you see, he takes the amount. Cams and then cleans up Renzi. And trying to keep those scores again nice and neat as the names are going out. Malice in a four-round lead at the moment, but with Goose just clean out Rampage. At the, it is looking to be Malice's round once again as Cams will get dropped by Insanity. A 1v4 for the No Mercy, a.k.a. Bill. 
And can he pull this one off? We'll find out. Bryce Mann here at Statue. Shots getting put on him from connection as he should get the court to his teammates. No mercy now. Tripping balls. As he gets a nade on Bryce Mann. Didn't even see that one go off. And Bryce Mann clearly didn't see it coming either. As he's now rushing around here at the front of A, trying to figure out where the players of Melos are. Three still remaining in this round. With over a minute 20 left on the odds gamers clock, he's got plenty of time. He can slow things down if he needs to and try and grab those kills. Of course, he does have to make his way to the ball. I do not know where it is. Obviously, it would be out some pretty wide B. I would think one of those players would rush through gates or it was uh, Kamsa was pushed back, still made. Mainly may have had that bomb uh, as Kamsa has had it the majority of the time. As you see there, six plants on Kamsa's name. No mercy on making his way wide to come out there. Fake here, just in the little side B street, waiting for the player to come col columns with Gushu standing right up top, watching Fake's right hand side, and uh, there's those little side doors near the terrace there. And we've also got Insanity back B stairs, so the guys have B locked down pretty well. No mercy will grab that bomb. I don't know if he's seen, he hasn't seen Insanity. Insanity has seen him, he'll take him down, and Melis will grab yet another round. It's going to be now 7 2 on the Oscar the scoreboard. Melis's defense looking pretty strong at the moment. Two and have to do something here to try and come back, otherwise the half will go in Melis's favor. And they'll head into attack, hoping to wrap it up early. Yeah, no, it's, uh, was looking to be a close one, but now it looks like Melis is pulling away. They are on defense, which some might say is easier, but to give you an idea of, of um, What's going on? Kamza wins, has got six plants for 2N, yet they've only won two rounds. So they really need to start getting their setups right. For once that bomb goes down, they can actually defend it. Anyway, as I'm going to jump on board with, I'm going to jump on board with Courteous Spider, or Guesty as he's also known. He's currently on two kills and eight deaths, so he's not having a great game, but let's see if he can turn that around with a bit of, bit of a spectator's eye on him. So, um, he's obviously got AK in hand. Just spraying that low wall there, see if he can get a tag through it to uh, get the call out to his teammates, obviously. Throws a vertical smoke out over towards the A-bomb now. And then jumps up onto that hedge to uh, have a look around. Smoke's going up again also to the left of the screen. And uh, obviously they're push oh, two-end are pushing forward, no mercy. You can see they're running forward. And uh, security of spider. Just, oh, Mercy gets a headshot on Fake. Fake gets a nade kill on Mercy. I think that's the second time that's happened tonight. So the two New Zealanders are slogging it out right now. And I also believe they know each other in, in real life. So um, they're obviously uh, going to be having a few laughs about that afterwards. Although I guess whoever loses might be a little bit more bitter about it. Anyway, uh, Guesty is still AK-47 in hand. Sees Renzi there. Gets a kill on Renzi. So that's good. Renzi, obviously the top fragger from Alice, is now down. Now, 2 end need to capitalise on this. Push forward, get that bomb down and set up so that they can protect it when it does in fact go down. As Geekwave gets a kill on Insanity, this is 2 ends round. 4v2 situation. They can't lose it from here. Cam's just got the bomb, but he's not going for the plant yet. Let's see what he can do. He's, you know, he's sort of gone around, jumped on the bomb, and then sort of ran past it. Oh, as Bryce Man comes and takes him out, then Courteous Spider will take him out. So it's now 3v1 situation. Goose Juice left. Bomb is not, is been dropped. Goose Juice there. Goose Juice will get taken out. We'll find out who it was now. Score 7 3 on the Oscar scoreboard. 2 end getting a nice round there. Can they pull a few more rounds? and go into damage control mode as we see Rampage now taking that final kill on Goose Juice, getting the round for 2N, and uh, yeah, let's see what can happen. Back at Bio, back to you. Yeah, I want 2N to come back and grab some more rounds here, because the the, the half will finish right quickly. As you said, some may say defence is easier. Um, I do prefer defence over attack on Villa, but uh, it all depends on the team. As we always know, some teams just play better on a, a, a certain half. As we're going to on board, who are we seeing? You guys trying to figure it out. We've been on board. Renzi. Renzi's been hiding away here in bottom bar. Little miner. So I'll get the police on him. AK-47 in hand. Is sliding the way back for these players. To maybe push B. Doesn't look like they're going to. But he's just going to do what he's told. He can always push back to bottom villa if his teammate Bryceman gets taken down from there. And that's a pretty good pretty good idea if they need it. It did look like 2M were heading off towards that A side of things earlier off in the round. So Renzi might have to head over either back through Bill or over through the connection and come out that way to try and grab some kills here. Of course, being careful the whole time. Still, just setting it up, and Renzi not doing much for us, so we'll have to come back to you in a second. As we're on board with the uh, Geekwave man, no, there's no mercy, finds Goose Juice that time for headshot. Geekwave that. now pushing along B Street here, coming down towards Bar, decides to set up behind the wagon, maybe hook his old horse and cart up, as he's still waiting now. He's, he's believed Renzi's around that area as well. He's, he's known Renzi to be around this area, but he's not quite sure where Renzi's going to be hiding off this time. Renzi is back over at Top Villa now as I, as I get back towards what he's doing. Crawling along the ground. Bomb still here to go down. Minute 10 left on that Ozgamers clock with him just uh, really just gliding along the ground here trying to make as minimal amounts of noise as he can. No mercy. Gets the second kill of the round for himself on Bryce Man that time the M16. 
Ramsey still down, but we are pushing down. Sees one rushing around down there, trying to get some tase. We'll get some tase oh, on Mercy, drop him back down again after. Could not finish off the kill, but hopefully getting the call out to his teammates. Smoke has now gone up. Shots coming out from his left-hand side. He knows he cannot challenge again. Elwood. He will get cleaned up very quickly, but he decides. And now he comes in. He sees it coming. Nice little play there. Mercy now third kill of the round on fake 2G. Can Mercy get a TD? Renzi and Insanity both still alive now. Shots coming out most likely by Rampage at the back there at Rock. As it looks like he's putting Renzi is still trying to stay alive. No mercy has been dropped by Insanity now. It is of course a 4v2 situation as making it now a 2v3 with Renzi cleaning up Spider in the back. So Renzi and Insanity not out of this round just yet. 2N trying to stop it but as Geekwell will take out Renzi. Checking the bomb. No one there. Where's Insanity? Insanity is currently top the top of Villa and he's living the hunt for the player that just took out his teammate. He's way in there, lying down. I believe it was Geek Wave doing that. And that round will go, of course, in favour of 2N. Yes, it was. 7 40 on the Oz Gamma scoreboard. 2N grabbing two rounds in a row there before Mel's can get to that eight. Can they grab some more before the half? Yeah, good round there. Um, as you can see now on the scores, No Mercy and Geek Wave are both fragging hard now, whereas Renzi is really the only one that's it's just const constantly uh, fragging for the team of Malice. So unless. Um, Renzi gets a bit of backup. We could see uh, 2N either come back and e even win the half or even, you know, get a few more rounds then uh, have a solid defense. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to jump on board with Insanity, I think, because I, I haven't seen too much of him. Apologies if I've missed someone, but, yeah, um, I'll try and get them on another half anyway. So Insanity, AK in hand with... Uh, looks like he's going to go for a flank now. Renzi gets an AK-47 kill, gets a double kill with AK-47 on Courier Spider and Kamza wins. Uh, Insanity spots someone there in that back sniper building tags him a bit, then decides to uh, stop, reload, and go uh, get some cover now. Zer Geek Wave takes out Renzi though now, so here we go, 4v3 situation, what can the two teams do as Insanity is watching that connector, or mid-arches as some like to call it, and uh, just obviously going to be watching there to make sure they don't decide to come B, uh, as he spots someone there, gets uh, takes out Ge Geek Wave with that AK, so now we've got 3v2, uh, sorry, 4v2 situation in favour of Malice, this is obviously, will be the last round if Malice win it, taking the score to 8-4 if that happens, but we'll have to wait and see as Rampage trying to even the odds there, takes out Goose with M16, Insanity getting a bit more aggressive now, he's pushing that hedge now, he knows that uh, in, that uh, Rampage is around there. No, Mercy picks up Brian, so it's a, a Bryce man, sorry, it's a one, uh, sorry, 2v2 situation, uh, sorry, calling Brian, Brian, because I used to be in a team with him for uh, almost a year, so anyway, uh, <laughs> Um, 2v2 situation, no, it's now a 2v1 situation, Rampage left to clutch as Fake takes uh, Mercy out with an AK, Insanity and Fake, and uh, uh, that's going to be the half at 8-4, uh, Insanity getting that final cool there, and going 10-7, uh, and seven, which is quite respectable for a, a, a sort of new player, or a relatively unknown player, there you go, you see Rampage jump up there and get taken out, so 8-4 on the Oz Gamers scoreboard going into the half, and uh, yeah, Bio, your thoughts on the match so far? Honestly, 2 and Corey could have got some more round. As you pointed out, they planted seven times. Three of those times, clearly, the bomb got defused. Um, I, it, it could have gotten... Uh, sorry, four of those times. Two, three, four. Four of those times, the bomb got defused. Out of the seven, they planted. So they picked up an extra round without having to plant the bomb. But um, if they had gotten a better setup once the bomb went down... Perhaps it could have changed things up. They did try a B once. wasn't working out. A did work out for them. Uh, they always, majority of the time they went A, the bomb did go down. But as you said, they just couldn't control it once the bomb went down. And it was costing them. Uh, I was just waiting now for Fake 2G to come on back. Oh, he is. He's back right now. Never mind that. His mic was out for a second, then back in. As uh, his, his whistle said he's that fast in bed as well. We're just going to quickly wait for the uh, second half to start on back in. But um, I think I honestly think 2N can still come back from this. There's only a four rounds difference. Malice needing five rounds on the attack. Uh, 2N did put up a bit of an effort there, but I, I don't know. Like, I, I do want 2N or the match to get a little bit longer, but Malice, I believe, if they can grab the next eight rounds easily and convincingly and stopping 2N from grabbing uh, as many rounds as, as they may... Uh, Melis, I've, I think, from what I looked on the ladder earlier, I could be wrong, but I think they still have a chance if they get enough rounds. I don't know what the minimum amount of what they can allow two end to get, or maximum is, but uh, we'll wait and find out, of course, once the results get in and in. So I mentioned the final threads is up, guys. The images will get updated as at the moment for the CGI team due to this match getting played right now. The Mind Freak team is the only one in that image. Uh, because they are guaranteed with that victory, of course, being on the plus one extra round. But I'll hand it back over to the days. As we head towards the second half now. It is, of course, two in on the defense. Malice on the attack. Full-time score of 8-4. And let's give a scoreboard. 
Yeah, I'm gonna hop on board with Renzi now if I can find him. Yep, there he is. Because um, I think that if if Tuan can shut Renzi down, in my opinion, they'll have a much better chance. Because he's he's real, he's a real big fragger for Malice, and I think he's like I said earlier, he's a, he's a big part of uh, their success. So Curious Spider, they're getting MP5 kill on Fake. As uh, we see Renzi with that M16 down at the Rock Deuce Juice, he evens up the odds with the, Curti- with the kill on Curious Spider there, M16 in hand. Uh, Renzi now will pick up the bomb. Looks like Fake was going to be carrying it, but then obviously got killed. As uh, Renzi spots someone gets a tag there. But they have uh, obviously dived into cover now, and uh, Renzi is not going to bother waiting to see them peek again. Nice little vertical nade to that backyard there. Won't pick up a kill though, so um, a bit of a slow round here uh, for Malice on the attack. Uh, 4v4 situation. I'm going to have a scroll through the uh, teams now. As we see, a Bryce Man M16 in hand also on that B side. Insanity AK 47 wide B side. Goose Juice M16 in hand on the uh, fountain. And no mercy M16 in hand for the team at 2N defending that on that A bomb as he's been spotted. Kamzo is also on the behind the bar with an AK-47. Rampage M16 in hand, wide B. Geekwave uh, AK-47 in hand in the carpets and uh, yeah, back to Renzi. So M16s and AKs all around here, and um, that's a bit a bit different. You don't see that many M16s in Black Ops as we used to for Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4. Um, it's a little bit less uh, powerful, or not as effective, I guess, as it used to be. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting to see the team uh, using that gun on this map. I guess it, it sort of does complement it. It is a large map. There is a lot of uh, uh, long-range kills to be had. So, good to see the old M16 making a bit of a comeback on the map of Villa. As we see, Renzi is now going to be dropping back to go. It looks like it's going to be a B plant. Rampage takes out Goose Juice, though. Bryceman then takes out Rampage. 3v3, 3v3 situation now, so... As uh, Renzi slows it down, c- jumps on that bomb, Bryce Man's there to cover him, Nade lands near him, but uh, Cam's are shooting at Brian, and then Renzi steps in and takes the kill, saving Brian's life as well. Plant will go down now, yes. and uh, quite comfortably, Insanity takes out Geekwave, Mercy will take Renzi out, Mercy is left to clutch 1v2 now, let's see if he can do it, Brian's out wide, Insanity is also out wide. Uh, so, here we go, No Mercy takes out Brian, yeah. where's Insanity, he's, he's behind that truck, Mercy doesn't know though, he's going to go for the defuse and Insanity is going to peek it, or is he, yes he is, and there you go, um, Malice will win that round, taking the score to 9-4 in the other game of scoreboard, Mercy doing a fantastic job there, oh, coming so close to clutching that, but uh, just wasn't enough, so 2N obviously not off to the best start on this half, but um, they can obviously turn it around from here and hopefully they will. Quick shout out to somebody there. Currently sitting on 140 viewers right now, guys. As we uh, jump on board with... Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? There he is. Fake 2G. Nay going out up and over towards Villa. And it won't get a kill at all. It looked like it actually might have bounced back and blown the car up on the right-hand side. Smoke went out as well. Yeah, Smoke is covering a little part of Villa right now. A bit of Fake's going on. Nade's coming in as well. Just missing out where Fake was standing. If that Nade had gone a little bit further, probably cleaned him up. I believe it may have came from Connection Area. As he's still just sitting back here with the bomb, of course. AK-47 in hand. Checking out the connection as he strays left and right. And just keeps poking up a little bit here for the Mels guys. Just to see if he can make any, any sort of movements in the, in the offset. There is some shots going off in the, from the M16, from an M16 in their spawn building across the back A stairs. As Renzi, the fake decides to join her in as well. With, uh, there's gonna be no mercy. And of course, Spider out the back there. With no mercy m 16 ing Just uh, strafing back and forth. Trying to watch out for these sprays that are coming in. Spider's just there to protect him as well. Goose Juice was the man spraying across before a second ago. As Insanity will take a geek wave. Geek wave not too impressed by that kill. But what can you do? As uh, the platter on B bomb. It's gonna be Goose Juice taking a cans of Bryce Man. Clears up rampage. Smoke goes out. As, uh, Goose Juice actually smokes Bryce Man in the back. But Malice. Takes the round without dropping a player that time. Their attack is looking strong. 10-4 now on the Osgaman scoreboard in their favour. Six-round lead. And 2 and really got to change some things up here if they want to answer back with some rounds. Yeah, it looks as though Malice is going... is sort of more of a split push. Looks like they're sending Brian... Uh, to, to B to sort of make a bit of a hassle and, and some of the boy, the other boys on the A side. Bomb's staying pretty neutral and uh, then they're obviously pushing to wherever they are getting the most uh, headway and uh, so far that's been B so um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to jump on board with Guesty now, Courteous Spider and um, see what he can do. He's got an MP5 so, and he's been quite aggressive now this round. He's been spotted by the looks of things as, ta- as uh, shots come f- through near him but I don't know, maybe not as explosion goes off around him. He just uh, <laughs> tucked his tail behind his leg, uh, between his legs and, and ran back to uh, cover there. As he's now he's coming back out for another look. So he is a bit of a spider. He goes back into his web and then and he comes out for a bit of a look around. Um, as we haven't dropped anyone yet from either side, so still 5v5 situation now with uh, 1 minute 43 left on the clock. 
So, see what Malice can do. Oh, as I say that though, Renzi will take out uh, Kudia Spider there with that M16. No Mercy though follows that up with a kill on Renzi, so now we're 4v4 situation. The main fragger for Malice is down, so um, hopefully 2N can uh, make this work for them, as Mercy then cakes out Fake, so the, the higher fragger for, for 2N is taking, uh, getting those frags now. He's on 4-2, and two, same as Renzi, so it's pretty clear to see, looking at our scoreboard, who are the MVPs for each team. There's No Mercy, another kill on Goose Juice now. He's uh, getting lots of kills around, but then gets taken by Bryce Man, who sne sneaks through that connector and just uh, shoots him from a distance. So um, hopefully 2N can continue forward without Mercy being on that A-bomb uh, and, and still hold the round though. But as Insanity peeks around that corner and takes out cams, the reflexes weren't so great then. Not sure if it's maybe his connection or something, but Rice Man's going to retrieve the bomb now. It's a 2v2 situation, and it looks like they are in fact going to drop back to B. Geekwave is wide though. Rampage is at A still. Insanity's in that bottom bar, and Rice Man's at the entrance. So I think he's probably going to start moving his way to B. But he's obviously still waiting for Insanity to, to get some calls out and, and sort of tell him whether it's clear or not. So let's see what can uh, what he can do now as he switch. Brian will switch to an AK there. Uh, time's running out. How we've got 25 seconds left. Insanity on the B bomb. He's gonna come. Oh, far out. Geekwave is right at the bottom of that staircase on the right. Yeah, and here we go. Yep, Geekwave takes him out. Then gets a double, taking out Bryce Man there. Well done. Good placement from uh, Geekwave there. And just waits there like a little snake. Waits, waits, waits. And Sandy comes around. Unfortunately, looks the wrong way. And he follows it up with a nice kill on Brian, who's playing the bomb there. 2 1 on this half on the Oz Gaming scoreboard. And a, and a total score of 9 5 in uh, favour of Malice. 2 N can bring this back. Hopefully, they can. Let's go back to you, Bio. As uh, so a quick shout out to Joel Ace, Jack Sparrow Mustache from Marzi. Sorry, Marzi, didn't see it before. There you are now. Now be quiet. As uh, so next round starts on in with Cam's at the bottom bar. Going to jump board with No Mercy. We're just going to quickly go around to everyone. No Mercy, bottom villa. Fake 2G from the Lost Guys pushing through main connection and thinking about coming towards the fountain area. Going to have the spider dude with that 47 and waiting at the security booth, seeing if anyone's going to push on him. Goose Juice right back in the spawn building with his M16 out, trying to just get some shots out, see if he can get any tags, any takes. I don't know if he's actually seen him, or if he's just randomly shooting, was Renzi then finds Spider as well. Insanity on the flank watch here, seeing the Stormwolves going to push B wide, with Bryce Man there as well. Bit of a weird play that I've seen, a bit of a weird setup as well. You had Bryce Man, uh, Bryce Man, Goose, and Insanity all currently sitting back while the bomb is uh, slowly making its way up towards the A area. Very, very slow A push, it would seem, as Bryce Man gives him taste on the plate at the back. And he's working out as well as well. I said that with Renzi clearing up no mercy. Second kill of the round for him. Two players now gone from this, the uh, two end team with Renzi pushing in. It looks like Fake was planting that bomb. Renzi now three players down. Renzi going for them all. He will try and take him. He can't because Insanity now takes out Cams with the AK 47. Can Renzi at least get that four, four down that he wants. It'll be his second fall down in the in the game, I believe, if he does manage to do it. 7-2 and two right now on that scoreboard in regards to KD. Zekway then takes out Fake. He's seen him. He knows he's there. And he's going to challenge. He will poke back out. Tag. Hip fire. He's just going to hip fire him. And he will pick up the kill. And that'll be four players down again for Renzi. As Days called it, really, Renzi doing a lot of the fake killing right now for his team of Mellis. But, of course, there's a team effort with that bomb going down, thanks to the fake man, I believe. Yes. Currently 0-3, fake is, but he got the bomb down. That's what matters. And, uh, sorry, I think I believe it's updated the wrong score. I apologise for that. It is, of course, 11-5 now on the Osgaven scoreboard instead of 10-6, like I've got on my screen right now. Uh, yeah, uh, far out, man. Renzi just such a nuisance for, for any team that he's up against, as you can see from the scoreboard. There we go. He's taken out early now. So let's see. Two end. You've got the main the main opponent down. Make it count now. As Kamza says, yes, I will. Takes out Goose Juice as well. Then No Mercy says, yes, thank you. Brian also gets taken out there with a nade. This has got to be two ends round, you'd have to think. Insanity says, no, I'm not going to like that. So he takes out Geek Wave. And then gets taken out by Curious Spider. So we're already down to a 1v4, 1v3 situation though. Fake taking out No Mercy there, even the odds a bit with that MP5. 3v1 situation, Fake. Has he got Bomb? No, he doesn't. So Bomb not in hand for Fake. Must have been dropped on one of the other bodies. And he's going to have to retrieve that. As he spots someone that gets taken out. Oh, the Bomb has been planted. Sorry, again, uh, my apologies. Uh, we can't see the Bomb get planted. I don't actually have any, any sound. So there you go. It obviously got defused there and Fake was killed. Anyway, back to you. Bio score is, I believe... Oh, jeez, what is it? 10-6? Oh, sorry, yeah, 10-6, I think. Anyway, yeah, back to you, Bio. 11-6 at the moment on that scoreboard. Let's give a quick shout-out to Mrs. Black Ops. There you are. 
Uh, it probably is a guy under the name, as you usually do see online these days. But I will not go into too much details in regards to that. Um, just waiting out now. Guys, I'm thinking about a rage round. I don't know when to play it, but when are you guys thinking of rage round? Next one, one after that? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, we're on board with Mercy, and just for a second, yo, top villa, fake. Once again with the bomb, AK-47, currently back at Rocks and Hedges, putting a bit of the balls up towards that top villa as well, and he did not get a tag at all. He did get the call up from his teammate, Goose Juice, so he's, of course, behind him, up in that small building with that M16, while he likes to hang around. Spider, once again, top bar, trying to see if anyone's going to push him B. There's, he sees one player heading across the street, get some tag. He will get the kill on Bryce, man. Bryce, man, getting dropped there. So now if they can clean up Insanity, who's also out here at Main Gates, they might be able to push a flank and grab him around as Insanity decides just to keep his, keep his eyes open and decides to push back further into the A side of things for the attackers and maybe watch watch the flank from there. Renzi has pushed up on the bomb side. Fake still sitting right back with the bomb. Geekway has pushed the barn. They weren't quite sure if a player was coming up. Renzi will find Mercy. Bill not happy with that. It's a, I think it's about the probably the fourth time in this half and probably about the 20th time all match that Renzi has cleaned up. No mercy from that that angle with the M16. Nade now out from Rampage trying to get an easy and lucky kill. Could not, but the player ran away before that nade could blow up. With Cams are set up nicely on the B-bomb fake, still thinking about and trying to push down towards A. Smoke has gone up and he's waiting for a poker. He's seeing if they're going to try and poke down and uh, have a look at that bomb if, while that smoke was up. Clearly they're not. He's going to now push up with Renzi sitting next to him and they're just going to sit up nicely, hopefully on the bomb here in a second as he sits up in the corner waiting for a player to come out and challenge him. No one's doing it, but Spider's sitting back right now up top on the rear balcony and he's watching down towards that security booth. I don't think a plan has started happening just yet, but there are some shots going out as Goose will find Rampage top villa. Geekway now pushing flank. Bomb has gone down. 40 seconds remaining on that Osgammon's clock with Renzi cleaning up Spider. Cam's now pushing through connection. There's a player behind him. There's a bunch of them behind him. He doesn't know who to shoot for. He doesn't know who to aim for. He's getting tags everywhere. Couldn't finish off any players, but Fake will clean him down. One player left, I believe, right now. It is, of course. Where is he? There he is, Sir Geek Wave. And he will be getting cleaned up here in a second. I will. Yep, he will. And that's going to go, I believe it may have been Insanity grabbing that kill. It could be mistaken. No, it was Goose Juice once again with that M16. Nice little shoot and quick switch to the Python to take out the round. 12 6 down the Oscar game of the scoreboard with the team of uh, Malice taking out four rounds. Malice need one more for a win now. All they had to get was four rounds. It's guaranteed overtime for them. They need one more to take out the victory, and then any extra is a great bonus for them. Days, Malice looking to take it out. Yeah, no, it definitely looks as though Malice are going to be uh, taking this one out. Um, you know, Renzi just putting too much pressure on on, on uh, 2N, and uh, Cams is not having a oh fantastic game. So, yeah, as Insanity takes, gets a headshot on Geekwave, they're taking him out. As uh, already now Malice are on the front foot with a uh, 5v4 situation going their oh way. Uh, Renzi's still alive now with that M16 in hand. Going to watch him for this, uh, what could be the final round that actually matters. Um, uh, as uh, Courteous Spider will then take out Fake, Rampage then takes out Bryce Man. So... The table's being turned a bit here now, as it's uh, a 3v4 in favour of the team of 2N. If they could claw back now, it'd be amazing, but I just don't know if I see it happening as Goose Juice takes out Curtis Spider at that MP5 3-on-3 situation. Renzi gets taken out by Rampage, though, so now 3v2 situation. I believe the bomb has been planted, and seven, 15 seconds left. Oh, Insanity takes out Rampage, Kamza takes out Insanity. 1v1, Goose Juice and Kamza. Kamza needs to kill him, and no, he won't, so there you go. That is the game there. Uh, Malice take it out, Malice knock out C5, and Malice uh, now got the 4th spot and will face Mind Freak in the first round of the finals. Uh, well done to them, unlucky 2N, but I guess we'll uh, stick around and play it out. Um, so yeah, Byron, what are your thoughts? So are they, are they definitely in the, I just want to follow this, are they definitely in top 4 now with that victory, or do they need more rounds? That's, all, that's what I want to know. Um, I, I did a calculation uh, yesterday, and no matter what the score, if Malice won, uh, and uh, the game, I believe uh, they were in. So that's I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, although it's a little bit complicated. I think as far as as far as I'm concerned, it is definitely as soon as they won, they were in. But I guess we'll have to wait and see for the total, st the overall score score of this game to to be sure. Indeed we will, as it sounds like the bomb has gone down once again. 40 seconds remaining in this round, guys, with that bomb. Ticking away in the background over here at A. Cams are cooking his nade up, throwing it out. Renzi will clean him up with a nice little spray. 
As Fake Two G set up behind the palm trees, Mel still trying to get as many, many rounds as possible. Spider from behind on Bryce Man at the 47, shutting him down. Uh, Spider picks up the double there on Ramsey, pushing down now, gets cleaned up by Fake, who was waiting for him. Rampage and clean up Fake a second afterwards. Goose Juice trying to get him this 1v1 against Rampage. Rampage was in that 1v2. As uh, Goose is now sitting back, Taser coming through the wall. He's not going for the DPG, he's got to, but he may have. And can he pick it up? He's looking to get it! And he's, oh, Goose Juice having to reload, and it, yes, it does look like that, the CN, the two-end guys, sorry, have taken out that round, who's going to be 13 to 7 now, and he's going to score board. Worst time to reload there by Goose Juice, just couldn't get the, yeah, uh, the right amount of, uh, right amount of body shots there, just kept getting the tags on the edge of that wall. Yeah, no, that wasn't fantastic there. Um, I think, as someone pointed out in the chat, someone said that Malice need to win by three or more. So I guess maybe C5 are still technically still in the running, but yeah, it's going to... I think 2N are going to have to start playing a lot better if, if that's going to happen, because Malice are quite commanding at the moment. As I'm going to go with uh, Insanity now, as Curtis uh, Spider takes out Renzi, I'm going to see what Insanity's got. He's got MP5 in hand, fakes it, takes out Curtis Spider though, 4v4 situation. Then Name No Mercy takes out Goose Juice, then Price Man takes out because Geek Wave, and Insanity, Insanity then takes out No Mercy. Oh, jeez, talk about tongue twisters, there's uh, lots of kills going off there, and we settle, settle now on a 3v2 situation in favour of Malice. Two people alive left for the team of 2N, Kamza and Rampage, and it looks like they're going to hightail it back to B now. Insanity with Bomb and MP5 in hand, his teammates are pushing through forward, which is a smart play. Always good to send people without the bomb forward. That way the bomb doesn't get dropped in an awkward position. Brian uh, looks like he's going to shoot around there. I think someone might be top. Yes, they are. He comes out bottom. Python's out. Doesn't get a kill, though. As uh, Insanity's going to plant that bomb. Let's watch it. Halfway. Three quarters away. And finished. So bomb is now planted. And uh, Fake then takes out Kansas. So it's a 1v3. Bomb is planted. And uh, Rampage is going to have his work cut out for him if he's going to clutch this round, which it doesn't look like he's going to, if you ask me. He... Uh, He's quite a bit, quite a bit behind there as he runs past that uh, triangle, uh, and yeah, they're basically all set up, waiting for him. And the kill goes out. I'm not sure who got it. We'll find out now in the kill cam. As um, yeah, six three at the half on the Oscar Gaming scoreboard in favour of Malice. We see Insanity had a nice little round there, getting a plan and this final kill as well as another one on No Mercy. So yeah, um, we'll have to see what happens. See if 2N can bring it back, but two rounds away from the half being, uh, from this half being over and also from the whole game being over. So back to you, Bio. Yeah, not looking like it. 14-7, guys. It is time for the round you love to hate and the the thing you hate to love. Rage round. How does that make you? Yeah, I charging him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I shoot a guy in the head with three so bullets bullshit. and he doesn't wait, die. Wait, wait, then they landed all the time. I don't know what's going on. Wait, wait. Oh, yes, Danny. How come we can play like this? Oh, we didn't prepare for this. That's, that's my excuse. There's really no point. <laughs> we should've just got someone else in because I'm just on red bar the whole time. Uh, um, who? We don't have anyone else on the team. Yeah, well, Pooh could've played, but... Anyone. Yeah, but well, Pooh doesn't come yeah. on, though. I probably should have switched at half time. Sh should have switched at half time. Oh my god! Oh, we could even make finals anyway. What's the difference? I know, but it's just the, it's the one time oh, that we need to win. The rage will go in. The rage. The round will go in favour of Melis there now. Fifteen seven on the Oz Gaming scoreboard in their favour. Most likely the last round, but if you play here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. But um, Ellis looking pretty strong to be back in the finals. Uh, I don't know how they're gonna they're gonna go. I believe Goose may have said earlier in MSN that uh, they'll probably end up getting flogged in finals. But who knows? They may not. They might end up uh, doing what they've do sometimes have done best, coming out of nowhere and uh, re returning back for, with some nice games. As Bryceman will get that nice little nerd nade on Rampage. It would be a bit different to not have Melis in, in a final set uh, for once. I believe every other finals that we've ever had, Melis have always been in that top in the top area. With Spider being a nice little double there on Renzi and Fate. We're going to try and find Spider here. He's pushing hard. Uh, it's a little bit too late for it, but he's still going to try and get as many kills as possible. Bomb has been dropped. Mercy's now will find Goose Juice. One in their spawn building. Most likely Insanity, I think, if he's still alive. 
Yes, he is. As Bryce Miller will then find the Geek Wave. And Spider is still sitting back out here. I don't know if he even saw Bomb down there. I hope he did. Clearly, he must have. was sitting out there you know, pretty much in the open for him to notice. He's going to just lay down now in the corner, waiting for a player to poke. Insanity is sitting back down here around the corner as well. Insanity waiting for him to poke. So he's going to wait it out probably. As we go into Ghost Camp here for a second, we're just going to show them both up. You see Insanity heading towards their spawn building. And Spider still sitting back here as the Bryce man will pick up another kill. Spider's going to head inside. Going to try and jump on board. One of them, he sees him, takes him down with a nice little drop shot. And to the head with that MP5K. It is now a 2v1. Yes, Bryce man by himself. Bryce man already taking down two players this round. Looking for that four player down. As he decides to head towards Top Villa. Mercy just here at Fountain. They know the bomb is just still back here near Hedges as they run out towards wide A. So they're not going to have to worry about actually looking for Bryce man. Bryce man have to come looking for them. Bryce Man is he's doing exactly that at the moment with his AK-47 Top Villa. Having a bit of a look around and trying to figure out where the players are. He's just going to put on play a little bit safe, but also start making his move towards that bomb. 40 seconds left in the Oz Gamers clock. He's been seen by Mercy. Mercy will take him down, and that'll give them another round. It's going to be a full-time score now of 15-8 on the Oz Gamers scoreboard in Melissa's favour still. Melissa, of course, still having the victory there, secured, but two end trying to go some more rounds before the end of the game. Uh, yeah, two end making a nice little last-ditch effort to win, the, to win the half at least. Um, not sure if they'll be able to pull it off, but we'll see. As uh, I'm going to jump on board, let's see, who haven't we seen? Uh, we haven't seen a lot of fake from what I remember, so I'm going to find him. There he is now, as he, as he, as I switched to him, he fails the smoke, lands it on himself there. Fake's got bombing hand, spots one in front of him, diverts over to the left there. Courteous Spider takes that goose juice, now Fake's playing a bit of cat and mouse now. Courteous Spider doesn't realise uh, that Fake is there, but Bryce Man somehow takes that kill, obviously, from that connector there, so Fake getting robbed of a kill there. Uh, Renzi gets a headshot on Kamza, Bryce Man getting gets a kill on uh, Geek Wave there with an AK-47. 2v4 situation now, this could be it, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, Fake is going to go 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two on the uh, the number pad there. Fake gets the bomb down now, turns around to have a look at that uh, connector. Mercy is uh, coming through the garage, Renzi gets a headshot on Rampage. 1v4 situation now in favour of Malice and No Mercy, the one left to clutch. Uh, he gets one kill, now it's a 1v3, still the odds are stacked, 25 seconds. What can he do? Shots go out. No, that's it. Game over, ladies and gentlemen. 8-4 on the half. 16-8 uh, total score in favour of Malice on the Oz Gamers scoreboard. And, yep, well done to Malice. They have definitely made finals, I believe. And, unfortunately, C5 will get knocked out now. They will finish fifth. And, uh, yeah, that'll be that. So, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Bio, your thoughts? Honestly, like, after their match last night, just in, in touching on C5, being knocked out now, uh, they played really well last night. One of the greatest matches that I've seen all season against Torrid. Um, but, again, some team had to go. You can There's eight teams in the pool. Uh, you can only fit four in there. So, um, obviously, you can't can't please everyone. 16-8 in Melis's favour. Melis defeating two in here this evening for the final round before we head into finals for CGI. There is still a match to be played in CGM. I'm not quite sure when it's going to be played at the moment. There is word it might get played next Tuesday if it can't be played any sooner. I don't think it can be. It's, of course, Harry Ars versus Redemption, I think. A perfect Storm. Redemption, whatever they're calling themselves these days. Uh, I believe that's who they're versing. But uh, congratulations to the team of Malice for the victory here this evening. Trigger for hosting and refereeing the match as well, so thank you to him. And, of course, the delightful days joining me here this evening as my co-caster. It was a great match, Days. Um, just just quickly, we'll touch on why you're here. Your mindset going into finals, um, I, I, it looks like he may be versing Malice uh, first round. And the, the maps that have been announced, I believe they were uh, cracked... Uh, Summit and um, Havana, I think, I think, off memory, I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I think it's something along those lines. I can't remember. I don't have the page up now. Um, uh, I don't know. I think, I think we're versing Malice because uh, I think they're going to take fourth now. Uh, I don't know because obviously we, the ratios and everything comes into play, so it's it's hard to work out. Um, you know, de there's so many dependents on this and that, and blah blah. Um, so if if it is that we're going up against Malice, um, we're pretty confident being able to win um, against them. You know, they've had a very shaky season. They just scraped in now, coming into the last round. Um, they were able to pull pull it through with the win though when they needed it most, which was uh, uh, which was to do um, two n. Uh, sorry, as I say that, I just got uh, sidetracked. As uh, Blazin says, we play you guys. Malice just overtook us. So apparently, looks like Taunted might actually be seated in in fourth now. So. 
So yeah, I guess we're going to be playing Taunted. So there you go. Um, Malice moved their way up the uh, the uh, into the finals and with that win. So well done to them. I guess um, yeah, going up against Taunted, same thing. You know, uh, again confident we can win. Uh, probably be a bit more difficult against Taunted. They have been known uh, quite well to be the ones that prepare the most, that strat the most, you know, and and that put the most effort in uh, come game time. Um, so yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, I think we can win, and I think uh, we can win. Take out the whole thing. Uh, to take out the whole thing, but obviously uh, I'm sort of obligated to say that. I'm not gonna, exactly going to, you know, counter counter this out. Uh, after all, I do play for Mind Freak, and um, yeah, everyone in the team is extremely hungry for it. Um, you know, we came so close in Modern Warfare 2 in CGI up against Malice. You know, uh, unfortunately we lost 3-1. Um, you know, and so we're all real hungry for it. And, and Black Ops, you know, it, it seems to be our time to shine because we're we're all pretty confident. You know, we've had a few. Um, I guess uh, slight losses, you know, but nothing, nothing major, and and yeah, it's going to be good, and and I look forward to versing Taunted again on Cracked because that was at the start <laughs> one of the matches that we very very well nearly lost. So um, yeah, looking forward to that, and I think they'll do well, and hopefully uh, we'll also do well. So yeah, um, and thanks for having me tonight, Bio. As usual, it's been uh, a pleasure shoutcasting with you, uh, doing it with someone instead of by myself like last time. My voice is uh, thanking me for it and thanking you for it. So yeah, I uh, look forward to listening to some casts and and God forbid if I do get knocked out, I'll be more than happy to join you in uh, some of the finals matches. Great stuff. Once again, it was, of course, a pleasure to have you here this evening, Delightful Days, as we again thank the team, the, the teams of Melis and 2N for putting on a quite a good matchup here this evening. Of course, Melis defeating 2N 16-8 with Trigger, the host referee. As well, guys, don't forget to check out the finals league threads that went up tonight and uh, has has all the information you need regarding finals, the prize money, uh, who's going to be playing who for the first round, or as far as we know at this point in time, and what maps are going to play. We've announced all the maps straight up. Uh, there is no reason to really keep them a secret because uh, all teams should already have strats made up for each each map as each map as well, since they have already been played throughout the season of this uh, of season one here for the Steel Series Cyber Gaming Invitational Main Amateur and Development Leagues. Oz, of course, by Acid guys. As always, got to thank our sponsors at Oz Gamers and Oznet Servers. Without whom, none of this would be possible. For all the latest news, reviews, downloads, and anything that's game for both PC and console, log on to ozgamers.com. Until next time, be sure to keep an eye out on gamestar.com for all upcoming shoutcasts. And we'll catch you here back very soon, hopefully with some more live action from GameStar.